what's up guys welcome back to another review today we're gonna to be taking a look at airborne so he is one of the cars that appeared of course in the demolition derby during cars 3 so as you can see here here is one of the other signs it says wild bills racing cone so you guys already know the deal about what other cars are in the same case as him you know the stuff he has like the accessory and the rubber tires so of course pretty sure you guys are already pretty familiar with that and then it has this demolition derby sign as well. So now, here on the back, you can see Lightning McQueen has Chester Whipple filter, Liability, Chambalaya, Bill, and Superfly, as always. So, of course, Airborne was the one who did win the vote. I actually kind of thought he would, or at least I thought it would be like one of the diecasts that are in this case, but because I feel like those are the most popular, but we're getting down to just liability after this, so let's go ahead and open them up. Oh, that works too. So here is Airborne out of the package, not gonna lie, he looks pretty cool. I thought he was actually gonna be my least favorite, but maybe not. Maybe not, I really like his colors as you can see here. Most of his hood, it's yellow, and then as it gets to like the end, like right beneath his eyes, it's green, and then near the back, it is all blue. You can see here, one of the side windows is green, and then a little bit of that small one is blue. Same deal on the other side, he sports the number 90. He looks really cool, and also, his front wheels are yellow, back ones are blue. So he looks really cool, definitely very colorful. That's what I like about most of these demolition demolition derby die casts they all have like one thing that's like really cool about them like maybe their color or what accessory they come with or you know an easter egg you know like bill has the pixar ball so that's really cool and like also another thing that's kind of similar is bill came with like that dipstick sign as airborne came with a sign pretty much exactly like that except for the fact that the sign has something different on it it's wild bill's racing cones so you can see here it looks pretty old there and rustic you can see a picture of a cone, and then, and then right below, right below the logo, it says "One Stop Cone Shop." That's kind of cool. And then also, if you just kind of like what you can do with the bill and that sign, basically, you just put that together, and then, you, and then you can have Airborne just run right into it. So I know that's obvious though, since they kind of just go right into each other, as you can see here. Perfect, perfect fit. So that is kind of cool that you. That you have those and yeah that's definitely a very good prop that appeared in the demolition derby for sure i definitely like it very detailed and of course it is plastic so another thing about airborne because you can see here is he has antennas that are really small but unlike superfly who i believe has like r like really really big antennas he has ones that are pretty small and if you look at him from angle they don't like doesn't like you know block his whole entire face which is good and he's got a pretty sad looking expression there, if you can kind of tell. Definitely looks a little bit down, but it's the Demolition Derby, so... Of course, I don't really remember exactly what his expression was, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it'd be, you know, upset like this, for sure. And as you can see here, here are his headlights. Pretty cool. And then there's his grill. Which looks like it's actually missing a couple pieces. Well, obviously that's on purpose, but you can tell it's definitely looks a little bit rigid and banged up, as you can see in the front. So, of course, the detail on all of these Demolition Derby diecasts is amazing. So that is going to do it for this review. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And tell me in the comment section below, who is your least favorite Demolition Derby diecast so far released out of all of them? And, as always, we will see you guys next time for another review and also make sure to check my next poll on which car I should review next. Peace.